What's going on, everyone? <laughs> Welcome back to episode 53 of the Hashtag Nisto Bros podcast. Happy April, first episode in April. Very excited about that. And we have a very special guest on for today's episode. Good friend, Mike Salcido, a.k.a. Sully. We will refer to him as Sully throughout the episode. How are you, Sully? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. good. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm- I think we got a good, a good uh, episode for today. Or we're appreciative of your baseball expertise for this episode. Big time, big time, big time. <laughs> because what are we doing in today's episode, Mike? We are. We're both Mike, so that's a little. I know confusing, that's why. But that's I know why you clarified. Meant, that's good. That's good. The beginning. That's we good. are doing a fantasy draft style baseball. That's why I'm decked out in my. Nationals gear, even though their f- first series was postponed because Very of COVID, which is stupid. And it was against the Mets. Yes. If they if they got to play it, there'd be all kinds of bantering going on here because the Mets and the Nationals, Sully's a Yankees fan, so he would just be enjoying it all. <laughs> oh, I even got I even got this nice cool Nationals mug. I'm oh, decked wow. out. I got my national slippers on. Oh wow! I'm wearing. I'm, I'm ready wearing, to go. I'm wearing baseball socks. I thought you were gonna say baseball pants, and I was gonna be no. very impressed. But I'm also wearing a Nisto Eats shirt, which you can get. That's pretty nice. In our description. That was uh, good. Use code Nisto ships for free shipping. Mm. Got that plug out of the way. That was good. That was smooth Hot and early. But we're gonna kick it off how we always do with some birthday shoutouts. So the first one we are gonna say happy birthday to Eddie Murphy. Not the no, that's Eddie Murray, not the baseball player. Eddie Murphy, the Eddie comedian. Murphy, the comedian, actor. actor. He played Donkey and Shrek. Yeah, a lot. I mean, he's been in a lot. Doctor, he's Doolittle, been in a lot. Doctor Doolittle, coming to uh, America, Trading Places. You know, all, all, the, right. all the classics, all of them. What was that movie that he played like every role in? Like coming it was to America. I'm pretty. Oh, sure. okay. I thought yeah. there was another one that he did, or it's like he's in. I don't know. Forget it. But yeah, happy birthday to Eddie Freddie Murphy. <laughs> There's no chance. There's no chance. Is that your official guess? No. I think his name is probably Edward. Okay. So Edward. I'm going Edward. I'm going to say it. No middle name Murphy. Oh, wow. He's, that, that, that is a guess that you can do, Sully. You can say. All right. No middle right. name as your guess. <laughs> We've encountered so no middle names enough. Yes. What, what's your guess, Sully? Michael. That's a good show. Oh, he's going Michael. I'm that was my say, second guess. I'm going to say it's Edward James Murphy. I'm going like James. Can I change my and, guess? Nope. It's Fuck. locked in. <laughs> oh, and it just said to stop. Right, forget it. Maybe it didn't hear it. Turning 60 today is Edward Regan Murphy. Okay, so I would I would have still been wrong. Yeah, you would have been right. No one would have guessed that. So Mm -hmm. that was probably like my third or fourth guess. (laughs) R E G A N. Is that Reagan or Regan or how do you say that? I'll have to ask him. Okay. Yeah. 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 Next time, next time him and I are on a Zoom call, I'll have to ask him. But uh, speaking of speaking of Zoom calls, uh, happy birthday to Jay Bruce. Yeah. Baseball player to the baseball Jay baseball Bruce. Sure. Jay Bruce, former Met, former Red, current Yankee. I feel like he's played for more teams than former that. Former Indian. That's right. Cleveland he's played team. for 77 teams. And there's what, else, what other team was he on? He Mariners? Mariners? Was Mariners. he on the Mariners? Did we say Reds? Yes. yes. I said yeah. I said Mets, Yankees, Reds. And I added Indians. Pretty sure he was on the Phillies. Ooh, yeah, that's a good shot. He was on the Phillies. Um, Well, Oz can find out when he looks up his middle name to find out that Jay Anthony Bruce played for. I like that that one. I like that one. Uh, I'm going to go with Jay. uh, I feel like Jay might stand. I feel like Jay might be short for like James or Jay, like Jay. That's what I was wondering. I think I think James, but I think he's just a J. Really? 
Yeah. That could be it. Who would be named Jay? Uh, Just former, Jay? Former know. guest on the pod. Yeah, former fact checker. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got for a guest, Sully? William. William. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. He looks like a, he looks sounds, like he could be it William. Sounds like it works. I don't know. I like it. Man, I was really close. I don't believe you. I was really close. Mm-hmm. Jay, his name is Jay. Okay. Weird. Alan Bruce. Ooh. I said Alexander. You did. That's you did. close. That is. And uh, here's for no the points. fact check. We got Reds, Mets, Cleveland, Seattle, Philly, Yankees. Good job, everyone. We, we got, got them all. We, we got them all. Teams. Good job, boys. Yes. Next. On this day. Which one do you want to do? I'm going to do the older one. Okay. I kind of figured because yeah. I like the other ones. Uh, sticking with the baseball theme, though. Big time. 1985 on this day. What is that? We got uh, 36 few, years ago. It's at least six years ago. At least six, but maybe it's 36 also. <laughs> the MLB Players Association agreed to expand the league championship series from five games to seven games, which is huge. Because yeah. The seven game series is like, you know, so it's so much more intrigue. It adds a lot to it. And I think, uh, yeah, it's just uh, really, really cool. Do you imagine that the, uh, you know, the first team that came to mind for like seven game series down three, nothing, if it was best of five, they would have been done. Yeah. The 2004 Red Sox. I'm sorry, Sully, but I thought a fee, I thought a fever pitch and I was like, that movie wouldn't have even been able to happen if it's a good point. If they didn't change that, I like the seven game series, but I'm also a big hockey fan, and every series is seven games, which is yeah. how it's supposed to. Same be. thing but, in the NBA. The yeah. baseball is the only one who's held on to that first round being only five mm-hmm. games. Yeah, which is interesting. I wonder if they'll ever move or the one seven, or the one game wild like, card thing. Right. I mean, that's a whole different thing. Stupid. Uh. Yeah, but. That's pretty interesting. I mean, all those years before that, you know, things could be radically different with a 3 0 comeback, like you just said. Could be. 2009 and 2015. This is a little bit of a two parter. Yeah. This is pretty crazy. In 2009, Fast and Furious released. In 2015, Fast and Furious 7 released. The same day. Years later, they were just like, this is going to be the Fast and Furious day. You know what? I think April 3rd should be (laughs) officially named Fast and Furious Day. It should be a national holiday. Hey, you should take that up with someone. I think that's a good idea. I mean, they have a national holiday for everything, right? Just about everything. Yeah. Just about everything. Yeah. And every month has like nine different, 12,000 different, you know, associated things with it. I'm starting a petition. Do it. Uh, and I think April 3rd makes the most sense. No other day would really be good. I, I forgot to start my timer, but we'll just go with it. It's all um, right, we'll go with it. Just wing it. On Nisto Drinks this Nisto week. Nisto Drinks. I pulled a little prank on you guys. I I'm not going to lie. I fell for it. I, I mean, the only thing that you know probably gave away that it was a prank was the title. I was trying to think like, oh, how can I like title it that like it That's could true. still be a prank? But hey, whatever. You guys hear that? Huh? Or no. Okay. Or I guess I still have my background noise thing on because a very loud motorcycle just passed. But it was you guys didn't hear it? Nope. No, no sir. Very good. Very good. Okay. So anyway. Good. Uh I went to Chipotle. I tried oh. the new quesadilla there. And I have some choice words for that. And I'll get to that after I talk about the drink a little bit. Sully, we actually talked about this. I don't know if you remember the Izzy drink when I tried it, mm-hmm. the grapefruit one, you, you mm. reached out and you said, Oh man, I like, I like those drinks. There's something about that. And I tried the blackberry one this time and I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I thought the, the blackberry ness of it was off, but overall, like I could see myself drinking it a good amount, you know? Yeah. No, I mean, I like them. I'm not like a, see, I'm not like a big sparkling water type guy. Right. Um, but I have to have them like on occasion. I don't know, like my, my the rest of my family, they love like seltzer, love sparkling water. I just I can't get behind it. I don't know. Yeah, I agree I think, with that. I think the Izzy is like kind of like a 
it's a weird middle ground because like yeah, a lot of like, like flavored and... yeah flavored like uh seltzers are like zero calories zero sugar and it's just like they have like the flavor put in there but that's more of like a sparkling juice it has like mm. um you know sugar from like the actual juices that they put in there and stuff like that so it's interesting and i like i like it but uh yeah is izzy specifically to chipotle is that like a chipotle exclusive if you will because no. i've never no, heard or seen it i know it's it's, it's carried at all chipotles uh, okay. they have some kind of partnership there for sure but um must be nice <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we got um i know they have like hands of it too and that's another thing i gotta talk about the, the cap on the bottle would not go on it <laughs> wouldn't go back on it was too small i couldn't do it uh and it just wasn't working out for me it wasn't so i think i would prefer it in a can next time hmm. chipotle quesadilla yeah what was the beef with the quesadilla never get a chipotle quesadilla and that's what i'm saying and, he, and here's why. Here's why. First of all, you can only get the Chipotle, Chipotle quesadilla on the app. You can only use the app to get it. You can't get it in person. Stupid. And I saw that advertised, so I got it through the app. I wanted to see what it was all about. It's <clears> just <throat> not worth the money at all. And that's the reason. If you're going to Chipotle and you're going to get a burrito or a burrito bowl, you get everything you want you can get your rice you get your beans you get your protein you get your cheese sour cream veggies lettuce everything all in one right all in one you have a beautiful time eating and all but then you get a quesadilla and they're cut into these two weird rectangles I i've never seen that. a rectangular quesadilla i thought that was weird in part of it and then you get a side you get three sides that you can pick i chose sour cream to do a little dunk ski and then i chose <laughs> salsa i was like to maybe do some more dunk ski uh i didn't want to choose more i didn't want to do the guac for extra you know whatever and then i chose rice because i was like that's good i guess but then they're in these like little boats and it was so much sour cream there's no way anyone could physically eat a whole quesadilla with using all of that sour cream unless like you you would have had to spoonful some of it out and just eat it straight which is disgusting i love sour cream that's disgusting oh god throwing up so like so, what sides are you supposed to get to make see, that worthwhile i actually i have a counter to that because i recently i got it maybe like honestly maybe the same day as you okay thursday um i think, I think it might have been thursday yeah you got the quesadilla yeah okay and that's i actually fun. liked it okay well okay so, so here's the thing now, i didn't dislike the quesadilla okay you just, just, just like the a, it's not worth it at all. Like it's not as good for the value. I, feel no, I like, get it. See, go ahead. Sal. I, so I wanted to order it like a week ago, but I yeah. just, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get it today. And I was trying to look into it and I was like, Oh, you can only put the chicken in it. And I was like, I thought you could put a lot of other things in yeah. it. And then it would be like that. So then that turned me off that one day. But then the other day I was like, you know, I've only been hearing some good things about it. Mm. Let me go get it. So I went there and the app wasn't working. So I went there and I was actually able to order it in person. Oh. Ah, so I don't know if that was yeah. because their app wasn't working. And so they were like, okay. we'll take it in person now. Um, or I don't know if like they changed. I don't know. But I was able to order it in person. So I ordered it in person. And as my sides, I got, I got sour cream too. I got guac. And then I got the corn salsa. And what I did is I would dip a little in the sour cream. And I would dip a little in the guac because I was like, whatever. I don't care if like the sour, a little bit of sour cream gets in the guac, whatever. Okay, that's good. I like that. And then I took, I had a spoon with me and I would spoon the salsa onto like the quesadilla. Like I, was, I would hold it like sideways okay. kind of. And okay. then I'd take a bite of that and I would get everything in it. So that's, that's how good. I did it. And plus by mm. putting the, the, like the salsa on top of like the sour cream and guac, it kind of stuck on. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Stuck to it. That's so. Nice. That's how I ate it, and I, I I enjoyed it. And I got rid of all the corn, I got rid of all the guac, and I had a bunch of sour cream left because, like, you're right, that is it was yeah. physically impossible. So you could only get. So I'm assuming there was also cheese in it. Yeah. It was just like yes. chicken and cheese quesadilla. If you, yeah, that's you can't. You literally silly. can't get anything else. It, yeah, or, I thought you could. You could. This get, yeah is just more proof that Moe's is better, and I said it. I said wow. it. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'll say it till I die. Moses better. 
I think you can. You don't. You don't need to go on the app to get a dang quesadilla. Even if you did want to go on the app for a dang quesadilla, you can have more than just cheese and chicken, for goodness sakes. They're not going to give you eight pounds of sour cream, which is fine because you don't need eight pounds of sour cream. And their queso is better. Speaking of queso, can, am I allowed to take over? Sure. Okay, cool. Speaking of queso, good, good I had ruffle. I kind of thought so. I kind of yeah. thought so, but I didn't want it to segue over to Nisto Eats if the Nisto Eats drinks wasn't done. Talking about the quesadilla. No, I think we we talked about it a good amount. I the moral of the story is Moe's is better than Chipotle. Moe's, you should sponsor us. I said it. I'll take a sponsor from anyone at this point. Uh, yeah, honestly, because Bang's <laughs> certainly not doing it. You pieces of quesadillas um queso chips queso ruffles queso ruffles you son of a queso ruffle it was a little so like it was okay kind of just like i guess the drink Mm -hmm. it like it it hit but it didn't hit in the way i had expected it to yeah like there was a little bit of a spice that i kind of didn't expect in the chip like after the fact the initial taste I said in the review, it, it tasted like it was just like a cheddar chip. Yeah. Um, like if it was a, the sour cream and cheddar type of chip minus the sour cream, it was just like heavy cheddar, if you will. Right. And then a little bit of a spice little kick was just like, bing, I'm right here. It was kind of like that, but they were okay. I'd get them again. Probably don't think I would get a big, big size bag. Right. If like that was, something that i saw so kind of if you weren't expecting a spice because that's personally what i would be i would be expecting a little spice from a queso like if the chip was called queso so what kind of were you expecting i guess i i guess it was a little like i expected a little more like cheesy i don't know maybe that maybe because it was cheddar-y flavor yeah not so cheddar great like yeah it was like a sharp cheddar so like maybe not so cheddar if it was cheddar and spice at the same time, maybe it would have been okay. But it was okay. like cheddar. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. <laughs> and then spice. Like it was the aftertaste, like the I way guess. aftertaste. That's when the spice was kind of just like hits a little bit in the back of your throat. Mm-hmm. But like if it was at the same time, I'd expect that. Because like going back to Moe's, their queso being the best queso in the known to man to quesos. Very good has a little bit of a kick to it which is fine but it happens at the same time yes it all comes together okay no that makes i sense. also don't know this i don't know if either of you know what kind of cheese is queso is well, it queso means cheese in spanish spanish german guessing game this is not spanish away. german guessing game but but so it's it's nondescript so uh, it's just kind of it's just kind of like whatever they what feel like okay yeah. okay and i guess that's you know Melty cheese has just been deemed queso by the, uh, you know, Mexican chain restaurants and whatnot. I know you can Google uh, what is in Moe's queso and it'll give you like the ingredients and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Two cheeses in it. Um, Oh, that's exciting. See, like, I kind of, I expect that, that there would be more than one cheese in a queso like dip. Yeah, like, I agree. With for that. whatever reason, this the chip was like just cheddar. It just tasted like just cheddar, with a slight spice way later. So I don't know. That's kind of how I kind of how I took it. All right. Speaking of, no, nah, I didn't know where to go with that. Uh, speaking of taking things that I like, yeah, take me out to the ball game. Let's Here take us out to the ball game. So we are going to, uh, I'm going to share my screen now. We uh, made up a little thing for uh, our fantasy draft. And uh, I think Mike has read my mind because we do need to randomize the order of how we are going to draft. Uh, what we're going to do is a snake, snake style draft. So that means, think so. <clears throat> um, you know, it, it will go back, you know. So it, it would be me, Sully, Mike, Mike, Sully, me, me, Sully, Mike, Mike, Sully, me. You know, if, I, I'm just looking at how uh, it is right here. So ready? One he's take. Got the, he's got the random number. 
All right. Random list dot random dot works, not sponsored. What else is new? Here's the list. It's me, Austin Sully. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All righty. See? All right. I, I got a middle it? pick. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, see it? I do see it. Just so you know, I'm not rigging it. There was no, there was no multiple, uh, no multiple refreshes. That's what Destiny decided. All right. Can you guys see <clears> it all right? I just want to double check. I, that we, I we, can. We tested yep. before. And also, as we go, I have these other uh, things. Oh, man. I'll, I'll fill out as we go for each of our teams so we can recap. It <clears> so and contrary. Oh, go ahead. Also, I just wanted to say for the draft, we're going to pick one person from each position plus a utility guy. So nine batters and then three starters, one reliever and one closer. So five yeah. pitchers in total. And contrary to previous pickums, if you will, once they're picked, they're gone. Just yes. like a fantasy draft. It's not like we're building a dream team where we can all have the same people. Once they're picked, they're gone. Yes. Gone. Gonzo. Gonzo. So one per position, three starters, one reliever, one closer. Like Austin said, I have the first pick and I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> You didn't know um, the game plan. <laughs> I didn't expect to get first, but I guess there was a 33% chance of that happening. And I think the only appropriate first pick that's not accurate because you're literally thinking of like three people that you could take for yeah. this first pick. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to let fate decide. You're going to go another random number fate, generator right off fate, the bat. <laughs> fate gave me the first pick so it's only right if it comes down to these three guys i'm going to put three in here there's one I'm curious what, what these there's three two are. i'm not going to share i'm not going to share it that's undisclosed information because if wow. maybe if they somehow fall i can maybe pick them i okay. can pick them up but i don't want to tell you and then you say hey i'm going to pick this guy to mess up mike all right okay. so let's see we're going okay not the one that i really wanted to go with but we're going to do it fate decided Jacob DeGrom is my wow. first pick. We're right. starting as a pitcher. I think it's only fair. I want okay. DeGrom, and I want his long hair back, damn it. Well, sorry. Picture does not have that. Well, he's growing his hair out on Team Nisto. Okay. Uh, can, am I allowed good. to take that? I don't think I can. Team Nisto? Mm -mm. No, yeah. I don't think I can. I can't. I can't. Because that could uh, also be you. Yes, anyway. it could be. So there it is. First pick, Jacob the DeGrom. Best the best pitcher in baseball. And I'm saying that as a nationals fan, yeah. best pitcher uh, in baseball, uh, undebatable. I think personally. Yeah. And with so two now, nationals pitchers there, I'm still saying it. Yes. <clears throat> so I guess that goes to me now. Second pick overall. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think you were going to pick DeGrom and DeGrom was going to be my first pick. I'll say that right now. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I didn't pick him. Fate decided for me. So uh, I think what happened in our fantasy draft uh, you know, for actual fantasy baseball, me and Sully's league, was everyone kept passing on Trout, and somehow he landed uh, to Sully at six, correct? Correct. That's not happening Ooh. again. I'm picking Trout <laughs> with my first pick. So <laughs> um, got to pick, you know, right. uh, I like arguably. It. I think it's arguable at this point, but also kind of unanimous uh, best player in the league. Right now. He was one of the ones, the other ones that I had in my three. And if Sully I, picks, I could imagine. if Sully picks the other person, I will announce who that person is when he or she is picked. Okay, right, I think I know he both my picks. He All right, or good. You're going so we kind of discussed back. this the like other that. night. <laughs> Le left field is really, really weak. Yes. So There's I'm gonna go with. Strategy. He's picking him. I'm he's gonna go with Yelich. Him. He All picked right. him. Oh, he didn't pick him. I thought you were gonna say Dom Smith. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dom Smith was not in contention for first overall pick. It was Yelich. There we go. All right. Yeah, we talked about it off cam. Left field is the opposite of right field. Not literally on the field. Well, right field stacked. Is. Left field was trash, with the exception of Yelich. Not trash, but yeah. And I mean. <clears throat> I think that this position is relatively. Is, uh, 
I don't know if, I, if I'm right saying that it's relatively weak. I don't know. I just think that there's one clear cut guy that's number one ahead of all the others. So I'm going to go with Freddie Freeman. Mm. Nice. I like good that show. pick. It's a good pick. All right. You know what? And I, I think I probably would agree with you there that he's like maybe like just one, one small rung above probably everyone yeah. else on yeah. that level. I think he's um, the most like, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Reliable out of all yeah. of them. Yep. It's like, you, you know, you know what you're getting. Yeah. You know what yeah, you're getting. Yeah. Uh, and I think, oh, so it's back to me now. I hope you guys are catching on to how this uh, draft format is working. If you are confused at all, it's now <laughs> my pick again. Uh, and I, I have, I have Mike Trout. So I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good right away. But for my next pick, it's a, it's a little tough, a little tough. I'm not 100% sure where I want to go, but I think I'm going to go uh, – I, I think I'm going to go get my ace. I'm going Garrett Cole. I think I'm going to go with Garrett Cole. There we go. I, like Sully, I think I have both of my picks. Oh, um, <clears throat> all right. You know, I, I thought I had them both. And then you said ace, and then I kind of changed who my second one was. Uh-huh. You know what? I'm being ballsy here. I'm stacking up the starting rotation, baby. I'm taking my starters to the old town road. I'm taking three starters right away. Wow. I like it. Three oh, wow. starters right away. You cannot touch the rotation of DeGrom, <laughs> Strasburg, and Max Scherzer. You can't touch it. I apologize if you're listening to this with headphones on. So am I, <laughs> but you cannot touch that rotation. No, I agree with you 100%. 100% agree. I was with you. worried. I couldn't. I, I named my fantasy baseball team after Steven Strasburg. It's only fair that I picked him. And Max Scherzer is my players. favorite player in the entire universe. So I couldn't not take him too. And then I could not take the best pitcher in baseball. So you know what? I have the three best pitchers in baseball as my rotation. Mm-hmm. I said it. I said it. I like this. I like Eric Cole over uh, your two Nationals players. but I don't like you. <laughs> Fighting words there. So I'm going to go. So Mike's got his whole rotation already. Uh, I don't feel a lot of pressure to pick another starter very soon. I feel like Sully might, though, uh, for his next pick. I'll just put that out there. Um, for, my, <laughs> for my next pick, though, uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, the new – the new three hundred forty million dollar man, Francisco Lindor. Oh, you know what? Well, congratulations to him. Honestly, he <laughs> deserve he deserves it. And honestly, congrats to the Mets too. As a Mets yeah. fan, no, it it's pains true. me to say it, but they needed a superstar like that. Yeah, a hundred percent. And uh, I'm absolutely ecstatic with that pick. And back to Sully. It's good that I they know locked my next him two up. picks. I nice, love these two man. guys this, when this Mike man's was prepared. Picking. Oh man! What'd you say? Um, I wanted these two guys when Mike was picking, <clears throat> and I was hoping that they weren't going to go, and they both fell to me. Nice. Um, so I'm going to go seems, with my seems like a favorite trend. pitcher in baseball. They're Shane already gone. Bieber. Nice. He's a Bieber. He's a believer. Sully is a believer. I am a believer. Big time. <laughs> All right. Got him over there. Very nice. <clears throat> and then now. My next pick, I'm gonna go with a closer, Cody Bellinger. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice. hot pick right there. I think it's a really a good, good pick. That's yeah. a good pick. That's a good pick. I like my team. I, I I like your team. Yeah, I, I mean, just looking <clears> at <throat> right here. I, mean, I think got, all I think all of our teams are going to be. I mean, know, we got the last three NL. We got the last three NL MVPs right here. We got Yelich, that's true. Then Bellinger, mm-hmm. then Freeman. So that's a little scary right there. And we have the reigning AL Cy Young. Yeah, so that's he's, a. He's a chump. <laughs> it was a I short think, season. I think most people would uh, would like to see that as their team, but obviously, I mean, we're, we're saying we're picking from like we determine the, the top five yeah. of yeah. each position. So obviously, all of us are going to have. Very, very nice teams. Dream and teams here. 
You know, uh, maybe I'm just going a little biased off of, again, I'm um, bringing it up, Sully and I's fantasy team. But I think this is another uh, position where there's kind of one above the rest. I'm going second base. I'm picking DJ LeMayhew. Uh, just uh, I'm going to have a team that can hit and just hit, you know? That's all I need. I'm not Sully's team. So I'm going to go there with DJ. And also a little bit of uh, positional versatility if I wanted to. So yeah. this is true. I like that. Yeah. Like yeah that he's pick. he's gonna hit 400. So oh, I hope pretty so. good. Pretty good. I know one for sure right now, and I'm still struggling to pick uh the next one. I think I know who, but for, for anyway, the first one I'm gonna take is and it hurts to do this because <clears throat> there's a national at the position, but I cannot doubt the future greatness of fernando tatis jr I like it. uh he's on the cover of mlb the show 21 this year it's going on and, on xbox just letting everyone know and that is really stupid because it's supposed to be a playstation exclusive but i think this guy is going to be an absolute king <laughs> and i think <clears throat> i think he's already done it but he's making san diego be a place that free agents want to go look at machado went there hosmer went there i'm sure there's other names i'm forgetting those are the first two that came to my mind but it's like you have this young up-and-coming stud that you can build around and good for the padres for locking this guy up for uh ever yeah um because he's, he's gonna the be- other new uh 340 million dollar man and he's uh so something like that which makes me sick as a 25 year old 26 year old excuse me i'm 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 old now even though i was already old i'm 26 and uh you know still single ladies okay so my uh my next (laughs) my next pick i think you know my pitchers kind of a bit on the veteran side i'm noticing you know all north of 30. I'm pretty Big sure Strasburg just turned yes. 30 or 31 or something, yeah, I think which is, which is crazy. Cause he just seems like he's just always young, but anyway, I'm going for another young guy. Another guy I think is going to be the future of the team. And maybe I'm a little biased, but Juan daddy Soto is oh, like going that. to be the King of DC. Forget that other guy that was that's next to him on that little graphic. Cause he up and left and he is a clown Ooh. now. I don't know. He's dead to me. Ooh. Again, he's, he's not dead. Strong word. Yeah, I think he was talking about Mookie Betts. No, Mookie <laughs> Betts. If Mookie Betts was on the nationals, the amount of love I would have for that man would be unamountable. I don't even think that's a word. <laughs> Uncanny. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it would be big. It would be grande. I'm I'm coming, Oz. I'm blurring. I know, man. I know, man. <laughs> so um I I really like the Juan Soto pick. I'm struck I I actually don't like it a little bit though, because You're I think right something. field is so stacked yeah. that like I'm gonna leave right field for a little bit, I think, and just you That's know That's a bold strategy. I'm telling you guys right now. You know, you guys can pick your or Saul, you can pick your next right fielder and whatever. But I'm pretty happy if even if I get the fourth guy there, you know. So, uh, however, I am going to go out and pick another stack position because, you know, uh, I raised my hand. I was just going to do that. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It changed me. I wanted to address something we didn't address about the logistics of this draft. Utility guys are whoever's left over. Yes. So each position is going to have two left with the exception of a pitcher is going to be one, but each position is going to have two guys remaining to go to the utility guy. So in theory, I could pick another right fielder and he's my utility guy. Just saying. Correct. Thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. I'm going to lower my hand on on the zoom (laughs) call. Now I'm in class. (laughs) Uh, I'm going with uh, Anthony Rendon. God, son of a biscuit. Yep. I, I, I did that. Uh, I don't know. Not okay. to, to spite Mike or anything like that, but I, I think he is just an absolute, again, just uh, an absolute hitter. 
And uh, I think probably the purest of all of them. And then obviously uh, a great fielder as well. Um, the greatest I say purest baseman. hitter out of all the third basemen there. Tony greatest, Young, right greatest there. third baseman of all time. He's so, I feel like he's just I'm because so he's so sad because he's so uh, likable. No, just like he's a quiet guy. So he's he just is. like, you know, people probably take him a little bit under the radar, but I think he's just so, so incredible. Can we stop talking about him? I'm going to cry because he's not on the Nationals anymore. <clears throat> All right. So yet again, I know my two picks. Good. He's Good. a king. He's um, well. He's got time. We're talking a lot, you know. Yeah, especially that guy. That I'm going to go. First. So after Austin, after you went with DJ LeMahieu, I feel like this guy is the the last remaining. Like I feel like he's a good tier two above the other second baseman. Um, so I'm going to go with Ozzy. All right. I just feel like he's a beast. Um. So and yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Second base is kind of weak, in my opinion. A little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> like I mean, with the, the exception of slouches, slouches. With, yeah, I was going to say, with the exception of like the top two that are obviously taken, you know, it's like they can do it all, hit crazy average, but still knock out probably like 25 homers. But like the rest of the guys are more so for average fielding, average and fielding. Right. right. Not, not expecting like 20 home runs out of McNeil, BGO, or Martin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, sorry. sorry. Anyway, so my, my next pick is going to be uh, J-Ram. Nice. Yeah. yeah I I just get some speed on the team, huh? I think he's a beast. Nice. Exactly. I got to get some speed. I think he's a beast. Um, a speedy I third baseman. I should have won MVP over uh, a Brave last year. Wow. Ooh, wow. Yeah, spicy um, pick. Wow. Yeah. I'm brave about a six okay. season. I don't know. I just I liked J Ram a little bit more his season. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm happy to yeah, get he him. had a really solid season last year. He did. <clears throat> I, mean, I think probably hurt that the Indians weren't, you know, they're all right. Baseball but, team. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh you know what? I, I'll talk about this after, but uh I'm gonna go with uh I think I'm gonna go with another pitcher to uh I think I was focusing a little bit too much on the the position players, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, lock down my closer spot. I'm going Josh Hader. Oh yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I wonder if uh, Mike was thinking about taking him. I don't know. I literally seconds, literal seconds before you even said anything i was like maybe i'll take a closer and then i immediately looked at that those luscious locks <laughs> well now i gotta change it up so now unlike sully i don't know my two players i'm gonna take um, i do just want to say though uh in that that opening game uh the, the brewers went to extra innings and josh Hader pitched the top of the 10th and i saw uh that inning he was just absolutely disgusting. He was, yeah. He's a king. Uh, He's a king. You know, hitting triple digits, just that uh, funky delivery, so effective, so good, so nasty, closing out the game that uh, Garrett Cole is starting. Okay, so I know my one pick. <clears throat> I'm going for my third baseman. And um, – you know, I have a lot got, of good ones left. <laughs> it's okay. The first guy, he's not getting picked because screw that guy. He was on the trash throws. I should have worn my Houston trash throw shirt, but screw that guy, not picking him. Machado, a little bit of a kind of a little bit of a dick. I don't know if I could say that. It's my pod. I guess I can say it. He's not a yet. little bit of a dick. You know, his signing thing was a little a little untasteful. So process of elimination. I'm going Nolan Arenado. I think he looks great in a Cardinals uniform. Shout out to my boy, Lucas Cardinals fan. And I think he agrees. He looks good in a cards uniform. And I think he could be pretty deadly there, you know, with him Goldie over there too. those corners, not, not picking Goldie right now. Maybe, maybe, but pretty deadly. Um, I like that pick, man. I know he's my favorite baseball player, so I like. Is him. he really? Yeah, it's a good shout. Yeah, he's. I think he's. It, it's weird to say because he's so good, but I think he's an underrated player. Maybe because he was with the. So, he's been doing it for you know, so long, so good. So it's, and it's just on a not good team. Now yeah. he's on a team that gets a more spotlight and a 
just a better team, you know, maybe kind of like Yelich when he was with Stanton with the Marlins, nobody talked about Yelich. I was a day oneer. I'm going to say it. I was a day oneer. I was like, yo, this Yelich guy is legit. Don't mm-hmm. just look at Stanton. Look at Yelich. This guy does everything. Went to the Brewers, won MVP. So I said it first, but uh, this isn't going to be my pick. I already have my shortstop and I don't want him for my utility guy, but I saw a notification that Xander Bogarts gave Trey Mancini a big hug. I saw. Um, I wanted to shout that out too, to be honest. During the uh, Red Sox Orioles game, uh, Trey Mancini, uh, just a, a, a baseball player. He's like he a baseball fans player. You know, he's just a good guy. Doesn't get into trouble. You know, he's not going to blow you away with all kinds of crazy talent, but he's good and he um had cancer he's cancer free and um it was nice that bogarts acknowledged that as a human uh so i wanted to give that a shout and also shout out to trey mancini the goat i okay this is off topic i mean i'm going off on a freaking tangent as per usual i was playing mlb the show i had trey mancini three games through my first three games he had a one average a perfect average Whoa. So one dot average, one dot zero 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 <laughs> average. That's crazy. And he was a starter because he deserves to be okay. my pick. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be the first to take a catcher. Ooh. I'm doing it. Who I'm taking, taking J T R. Nice. J T real Muto. And I don't want to talk too much because I've done enough of it. That's my pick. Keep I'll talk a little bit for you. I think it's obviously the uh, – I think we've said this with other positions too. I think he is kind of like that clear number one right now at the catcher position. It's not really debatable. So, you know, definitely want to lock down that spot and get some good value there. So um, I'm going to go with my next pick. Uh, I'm going to stick with going uh, on this right side of the screen here. I'm going to go with another pitcher, and I'm going to go with my pick for AL Cy Young. The only AL guy left there, Lucas G. Oh, that's, that's a good shout. For AL Cy Young too. That yeah. is a good shout, and he had a really good showing in his first start already. So I think he could do it. You know, yeah. it's unfortunate because he was a gnat, and they had to get rid of him. Um, but he's he's good. I don't think they should have oh, gotten rid of him. He's really good. he's. I think he's the real deal. I don't think the Nats should have gotten rid of him, but it happens. You know, it's part of the business yeah i'm excited i feel like he really started to like figure it out during the shortened season last year i agree uh, really put it together and i think over the course of this full season he'll do some uh, real special things i agree yeah Tierlito was my pick that's who i wanted nice oh just snipe me there nice snipe. <laughs> um now i kind of i gotta go with, with my picks by the way hater than Giolito. that's true i'm gonna go with the guy that in a position where like you guys already have your position, or you already guys have your guy. Um, and I, I don't know. It's hard to, to choose between Trey Turner and Trevor Story, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Trey. Nice. Because he's a national. <laughs> Just get him off the board. Um, it's fair I think enough. he's a beast also. And he, and he steals bases, so he brings that solo base factor to my team. Uh, just the best. Literally the best shortstop to probably have the same season game. last year, too. By the way, he did. Yeah. I think he's just an all around beast. Yeah. Keep talking about um, him. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then my next pick is someone that not a lot of people like, but I like him. People like they, they, they don't like his social media presence, they don't like all this stuff. But I think that it's kind of needed, and I think that it's long overdue for baseball. Um, you see all the other, you know, other sports players, like football players, basketball players on Twitter all the time, tweeting out after a game, tweeting out about fantasy and just really anything. And, you know, you don't see that a lot in MLB because it'll be kind of restricted. So I'm going to go with my guy, Trevor Bauer. Nice. Nice. Good show. And, hey, man, like you got the, uh, it was, we come over to your team here. What do we got here? That's got true. <laughs> That's true. AL Cy Young. Young and L Cy Young reigning. So, uh, I like well, it. That, uh, again, not teams looking pretty good. <laughs> but but did you see my rotation? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> right. Here. Look at that. Look at how ha- that, honestly that's a handsome rotation. I'm gonna yeah. say it. Yeah. If the ground had long hair, be weird looking. I agree. 
Who'd you say is a weird, weird looking? I said, I said Max is a little weird looking. Hey, do, you li- do you literally want to fight? <laughs> sure, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the, eye, the eye thing is cool, but I don't know. His nose is, I don't know, weird. <laughs> Your nose is weird. I know, I know it. it I know my nose is weird. But Thanks a lot, say. Dad. <laughs> big, time, big time shouts to uh, the father there. Um, <laughs> Where am I going with my next pick here? Let me let me see my team here. I need a uh, first base, left field, right field catcher, and some more pitchers. Um, I don't have any worry about. So okay, I'm gonna go with uh, a oh, first man. baseman here. Mm. And you know what? This is probably not the uh, the most popular pick here, but I'm going Matt Olson. I, I love the guy. I really do love Matt Olson, a uh, really good fielder, gold glove winner. Uh, Abreu, uh, I think maybe a shortened season, if it was a full season, I don't know if he can put it together like that for like a full 162. Goldschmidt, again, uh, you know, maybe uh, a little bit on the regressing side. Matt Olson's still young. And Alonzo Olson, a pretty similar. Uh, definitely want to give a shout to Alonzo, but I think the, the glove of Olson won it <clears> over <throat> for me. So I'm going Matt Olson. Olson. And uh, if we're talking about handsome guys, I'm going Matt Olson all day. All right. This is true. His hair is nice. <laughs> so when you said first, I was like, I was a little shook because I was going to go with a first baseman, but I had two. So I was like, okay, either way, I have a backup. Maybe Austin will pick one and I'll pick the other. But you didn't. So then I had to go to my handy dandy friend, random.org. <laughs> and I like the route that they went. <clears throat> I'm going with the big time polar bear, Pete Alonzo. I stand by this guy. You know, yes, I'm a Nationals fan, and I talk up a lot of Mets players a lot because I'm just real. Austin's a Mets fan. My mom's a Mets fan. So I respect some of the Mets players and, like, two of their fans. <laughs> but I can, I can recognize real Pete Alonzo, if the Mets don't F him up, is going to be the real deal. Yeah. And agree. that is that. Also, I just want to add this. Like, mm-hmm. we were talking about before, like, real guys and stuff like that. He's like a real, you know, he's a real guy. Yeah. He's a, what did I say? A baseball player's player. Well, yeah. Baseball, baseball fans. fans. Yeah. I can't English. The coffee has got me. And now I'm torn. You want to see your team? Yeah, actually, if you don't mind, I was just thinking that. So I'm lacking a second base. My outfield's a little, but, you know, I got Juan Daddy Soto, so it's okay. My starters are going to go eight innings anyway, so I don't really need. All right, I'm good. Let me see those position players again. I still might go to the right side. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And I'm going, I'm going to go with my closer. I'm going Iglesias. I think this guy is going to be a tank in the future. I think just like Trout being on the same team, they, it's a little tough. They're on a bad team, but he's not going to get the recognition that I think he deserves. And I think he's going to, he, he has the potential to be one of the best closers in the game. I think. Nice. I like the pick a lot. Me too. And uh, I'm also going to stay on the right side of the screen. I'm going to pick my last starter. I'm going Clayton Kershaw. Um, I'm going with that veteran presence mm-hmm. to, uh, you know, help out maybe Giulio a little bit or something like that. But Cole's uh, a veteran too. Yeah. Cole's a veteran too, so. for sure. And uh, just, uh, uh, he's also just uh, kind of like a machine, you know, I feel like hasn't really slowed down besides like injury and stuff like that. He's still been so good for so long. And uh, I mean, obviously I think this is undebatable, uh, like best pitcher of this generation. So yeah. Going Until you get to the playoffs. Yeah, I and, said it. And you just won I the World Series it. last year. So. I said it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, I know my next two picks. Good. Love this guy. Yeah. Uh, so I was going to go closer, and I was scared that Mike's going to take my guy. Um, 
but I'm kind of glad that he won Iglesias. I love Iglesias. Uh, I think he's a beast, but I like this guy a little bit more. I was going to go with Liam Hendricks. Nice. Knew it. I sensed it. Yeah, I like him. I think he's a beast. He's playing for a good team. He should get a lot of saves. Um, yeah, he's 31, but, you know, relief pitchers tend to hold up. I mean, look at Darno Day. He's like 38. He's still playing for the Yankees. Yeah. I think, uh, who is it? Uh, Joachim Soria. I think he might even still be in the league at like yeah, 44 yeah. or something crazy like that. I don't know if he's that old. Yeah, I don't know if he's that old. I think he's, he's like 42, 43. I'm going to J this one. I'm going to say he's 36. Him. You're saying 36. I'm, pr- I'm, I'm saying pretty 36. confident he's over 40. I'll go 37. Well, you guys are both clowns. Let's see. Let's see. That's all you want to talk through the pick, your next pick. While he's uh, yeah, up. so my next pick, I'm going to go. I think he's the best relief pitcher there by far. And I think he's uh, an absolute uh, beast. His name is Devin Williams. Yeah, so good. So good, man. I'm excited to see what so he does to, again throughout a whole 162. You know, we yeah. can talk a lot about, you know, shortened season. But, I mean, he gave up. Oh, yeah. It was one earned run, right? Um, Or no? I think I'm gonna, he had like a .6 here, right? So it was like either one or two runs, depending on how yeah. many innings he pitched. But it was disgusting. He struck out. He struck out like fifty five percent of the people that faced him. No one's ever struck like struck it out, struck it out, striked out fifty percent. Yes, of the players that go up against him in a season. I know it's shortened, but still, he's a beast. Yeah, Joe Keem, Augustin Soria Ramos is indeed forty six minus ten. He's thirty six. So I'm, so- oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he, I thought he was older. Give that man some I'm, credit. I'm thinking of, some, I'm thinking of I mean, somebody. Else. I mean, 36 is still 36 is oh, still, yeah, still you know up that there, is an especially old as player. an athlete. Yeah, that is an old baseball player, old athlete. Um, so there we go. I was definitely leaning Devin Williams, but then I was thinking like, ah, I don't know if I want to just get the Brewers, you know, combo. That's true. I just probably wanted to make it a little bit more exciting. I'm not going to pick my reliever now, though. I'm going to go back to the position player, and um, I'm going to fill in my left field gap. Um, you know, we talked about left field a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit weak, but uh, I've talked about this before. My team hits, and this person hits. Michael Brantley. I'm going Michael Brantley. Like all he's it. done, all he's done in his career, I feel like, <clears throat> is hit. I was actually thinking about him a little bit before, and how he. Oop, don't want to move Frankie over there. Um, you know, he he was when he was on the Cleveland baseball team. He was just uh, a little bit more of a speed guy, but you know now he's transitioned into just being an absolute precision hitter and it's just so so cool to see uh so yeah i'm i went with michael so i'm missing left center my relief pitcher and a utility guy oh and second holy smokes okay um my set i'm gonna go with my second baseman because i've been kind of sleeping on him and son of a biscuit he's a met i'm going Ooh. jeff mcneil this That's guy can hit or not have the grom and uh three yeah, and alonso uh-huh. And uh, maybe I'll just pick Dom Smith while I'm at it, too. Don't actually lock that in. I'm, I'm going to sleep on it. I want to talk about McNeil and how I just think he is such an average, like not an average hitter, but he's hits for average. Yeah. The guy is going to hit like 600 and like, you know, just like I think that's an unappreciated stat is average. Yeah. Like for, for like today's time, everyone wants to see how many home runs you can hit, how many RBIs he can hit. I mean, even with his average being like 600, he can bring in those RBIs. He's not yeah. going to hit like 70 home runs, but he's going to have a 600 average, you know, like yeah. probably love 100 the RBIs. I love Jeff McNeil. He's a good guy. Nice. Good guy. He's a funny looking dude, but it's okay. My starting rotation has got the looks. Hey, I like the hair. I like the hair. I mean, I like hair. I'm going <laughs> for, <laughs> let's see. So I need left center and reliever now. I'm going to, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with my, my center fielder. I'm going Loriano. I was just Ooh. watching a decent amount of A's games because they were facing the trash throws. And I, I, that was kind of like the first time I saw him. And I was like, oh, this guy's, I could see why Sully and Austin talked him up and, and put him over there. There was, I, Sully, you'll probably know if I just say the position, 
but I'm going to try and look him up. He was their right fielder, the A's right fielder. Oh, Chad Pinder. Yeah, actually. So, see, I don't even need to look it up. <clears throat> I remember looking it up because he made two Great insane play. catches in the same game, probably like an inning apart. And I was like, yo, this guy is sick. So he's not on there, but yeah. Chad not swiping Pinder. See what I did? Okay. <laughs> Uh, so there, there's your your two picks. Those are my two picks. Um, yeah. So it's back to me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I can tell you're a little stumped. Yeah, no, I, I'm in between. I'm <clears throat> I'm not 100 percent sure where Sully's gonna go with his two picks. So I'm, oh, I'm trying to, to kind commit of think the robbery a little bit. He wants to commit the robbery again. <laughs> I don't want to commit a robbery. I just want to make sure I get my guy. You know. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to go, I talked about before I was going to leave right field. You know, this is one of my last position players here. Uh, I'm going to Cunha. I want, um, I want a little bit of speed. I think my team was lacking a little <coughs> bit of speed. And so I wanted him and, um, that's my utility guy. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I was looking for him for my utility guy. Yeah, no, he's an absolute, absolute beast. He's going to, I'm going to predict this in his career. He's going to have a 40, 40 season. I agree. I think it. Is, I, think, I think it's going to be this year. I mean, yeah. he almost did in 2019. So, mm-hmm. it was very cool. in a short season. I oh, know that was 2020. If he did on so. a short season, wow, if that dude's on pace for like you test like 90, 90. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you test that man immediately. <laughs> I mean, if he had 2020 and yeah, 60 games, oh yeah, that would have been crazy. Um, so I'm going on closer. I'm going to relief pitcher. I think I'm going to go with my catcher right now. Okay. Just because I, I, I love this guy, man. Um, so he was born in West Philadelphia. Born and raised um, on the playground. And so, yeah, I'm going to go with Will Smith. Yep. Is Not he not. actually also born no. in West Philadelphia? Okay. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it. Uh, I fell for it. So I, I have the battery duel between Bauer and Will Smith. You do indeed. <clears throat> You do indeed. And I have Bellinger. And I think that I might as well continue going with the Dodger tradition. Oh, and so you're going to Mookie, huh? I'm going to go Mookie, yeah. Nice. I, I, former MVP, man. My, that's what my team's going to be made up of. He was going to be my other utility guy. He was my first utility pick. I was just trying to swerve you when you said Okunia. Oh. And see, I tried to play a little sorcery. So I said, oh, Okunia was going to be my my utility pick and then you would have been thinking oh he's not thinking about mookie bets i'm not gonna take him yet then i come in and be like Ha-ha! wow but, <laughs> yeah that all planned it's out. actually exactly what what went through my mind i, I like, had I it all <laughs> bets he might take them <laughs> you forgot so, that part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so i have three picks left <clears throat> here uh and i'm gonna be honest uh, Will Smith was the one that I was thinking uh, for for catcher, and I was thinking of taking him then uh, with with my last pick. And then I was like, no, I don't think. So I feel like Sully never picks his catcher, so he'll probably just you know let it go. But um, ah. he, he jumped up and got him. He hit me with that. <laughs> and uh, but I do want to go with my catcher. I'm gonna go with Grandal, and I'm going with Please. the same logic there that Sully just went with. I got I got a battery duo there. With uh, Giolito, I like it, and Grandal, and Grandal mm. again. <clears throat> you guys want to say with me? One, two, three, hitter, and I just hitter. an absolute hitter. Hitter. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought uh, I said it enough. All no, right. it's all right. No, you're true. So I need a. What do I need? I'm almost done, right? These are my last two picks. These are your last. No, oh, no I have three. You're the last. Picks. I mean, my need left, left center, or left, left utility. utility and relief yeah. pitcher. Okay, let me see these bad boys again. Oh yes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pick my left fielder. Sorry, Dom Smith, but I can't have it in me to pick another Met. I'm going Ozunya. Ozunya. Doing it. Underrated, dude. He's there. That's it. All my utility guys are gone. <laughs> Mookie bets can't can't take. I can't do the <laughs> Mookie bets, or I could just take a DH. But I'm an NL kind of guy. I am gonna take my relief 
pitcher. I'm going Giovanni Gallegos. Boom. Sticking with the cards, my boy Lucas. And I have a friend that's last name is Gallegos. Shout out to Ricky Gallegos. Shout out to Ricky. I'm sorry I just threw your whole name out there. <laughs> Shout out <laughs> to the full governmental. All the right. <laughs> I have two picks left. I need a reliever and I need my utility guy. Oh man, I actually I'm looking at it now. That's such a good lineup, dude. All right. Um <laughs> so utility, I feel like I don't know. We talked about putting the designated hitter in there. I don't think I'm not gonna pick one. Um, I think there's better players out there. Um, and for my utility guy, I'm going to go, you know, this is just more of a fun pick because there's obviously better players out there, but I'm going to go with, uh, my guy, Dom Smith, just an absolute, an absolute King. And you know what? An uh, uh, a utility guy himself, he can play a little bit outfield, a little bit of first base, get him out there, multiple positions. I think get me some Dom Smith on my team. Yeah. I like it a lot. I think he's just a good guy too. Oh, all definitely. Just and good guy. To be honest though, I feel like. I don't know if if he could keeps up like what he did in that in last season. Like he he could definitely be up there, and he wouldn't be like a terrible. Like if he just yeah. like, does that over 162, you know, you could definitely look at him in a different light you know, among yeah. like you know, more elite left field company. So I'm just yeah. that up. I feel like he's what well, he's played for a number of teams, right? And Ted hasn't really found his home until I think he really lands with the Mets, and then just like fit in immediately. Yeah, I think he was with the Mets for a little bit. Um, was he? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm bugging. It's yeah. very possible. Yeah, I think he was a prospect of theirs, but he was just yeah. kind of like considered like a bust. Yeah. Oh, and then like he came that. up and he he did the things. Out. He did the thing. Yeah. He did that baseball. Um, all, right. all right. So for my last two picks, so I need to take a starting pitcher with one. I'm really happy that this guy fell because I was considering him for my second pitcher, and then all of a sudden you took Kershaw. Well, then I took, you know, Bauer and then you took Kershaw for your third. And I was like, all right, cool. He's going to be around for my third. So I can wait until the last round. Yeah. I'm going to go with Aaron Nola. Nice. Um, I really like him. I think he's a beast. Um, I thought you were going to pick Castillo. I, I love Luis Castillo, but. I like the second baseman like better. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, And then, so now for my last pick, my <laughs> utility. I was going to go with Jordan, but okay. then the, what, what you said was when you were like, there's a lot of good players left. I was like, are there? And I looked around, and there's two that really caught my eye, and it's Bryce Harper and Trevor Story. There's yeah. a lot of good players. Trevor Story is a first rounder in fantasy baseball, Big and Bryce Harper is like an early second rounder. And my heart lies <laughs> with Bryce Harper because I love him. <laughs> so I'm going Bryce Harper for my utility. And he is uh, officially actually dead to uh, Mike. So that's a little interesting. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. He went with two Phillies in the last round. Kind of forgot he was there. Kind of forgot. I think that my team is. I mean, again, uh, again, you're picking another MVP there. I mean, we're counting up MVP. Sully's definitely got us there. And with my last pick, I'm going with another Met. I'm going with Trevor May to be my relief pitcher. Uh, And I also do just want to add this in. Excuse me talking about players being involved in social media and stuff. Really cool thing. John boy media is doing shout out to them. <clears throat> they got Chris Rose doing the Chris Rose rotation. They're rotating through a bunch of different active MLB players, Giolito and Trevor may being two of them as co-hosts on the podcast. They're full co-hosts. Like they are there for the full hour of the, the podcast. And it's really nice. interesting to hear their perspectives on different things and talking about the game and stuff. So again, that's Those pretty two cool. position players definitely being active in uh, if they if they like podcasts so much i mean i know a pretty good one that they could maybe come on oh, to i don't know just <clears throat> just throwing that out there and honestly you know what i i've been saying a lot of bad things about harper but i gotta say yeah i know i got a utility pick there you know i gotta i gotta appreciate bryce harper because he did bring a world series to dc like he said he would so thank you bryce thank you <laughs> And for my utility pick, um, honestly, there's a lot of good people for a utility pick, or if you would just, you know, swap them with the position that they're at. Um, I, if this was like three years ago, I might've picked Goldschmidt, but, 
but I'm not going to pick Goldschmidt. I'm another MVP go- on your team, man. Uh, yeah. You know what? And Sully mentioned him. I'm going with Trevor story. I think he is to use Sully's word. I think he's a beast. All right. Mm-hmm. I think he is a beast. And uh, you know what? Maybe, you know, maybe uh, Tatis is getting a little tired. You know, you can throw a, uh, you throw a story in there at shortstop. And you know what? That's not a bad second option. Hey, and you're reunited story and Arenado, but hopefully story gets out of Colorado soon too. That's what I agree. For. Hey, come to DC. Actually, don't because we have, we have Trey, Turner. Trey Turner. Unless you want to play second base, because we could use that. Because yeah. Howie Kendrick is enjoying retirement and he's a king. All right. Let's run through our teams. I'm probably I'm assuming this is running a little bit long. So let's run through them quick. Go for it. Read then... You could read it off. I'll let you read mine off. Oh, okay. I was gonna say everyone should read Go their own. It. But uh I was hoping you could because there's no names there, and I don't remember who I picked. All right. So uh, for Mike's catcher, we got JT Real Muto. First base, Pete Alonzo. Second base, Jack McNeil, the Mets duo there. Third Stop base, it. Nolan Arenado. Shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Left field, Marcel Ozuna. Center field, Ramon Laureano. Right field, Juan Soto. And his utility player, as he just said, is Trevor Story. His rotation, you know your rotation, Mike. You want to say that one? Yeah, I definitely want to say it. And you, you forgot Juan Daddy Soto. That's his oh, sorry, full name. Bro. It's okay. <laughs> but the most handsome, best starting rotation in the, known to man. Uh, I mean, two of the three are nationals here. But you got the ace, the GOAT, the best pitcher in baseball, Jacob deGrom, followed the by goat. the second best pitcher in baseball, Max Scherzer, followed by the third best pitcher in baseball, Steven Strasburg. World Series MVP. And then, you know what? In case they need a break, your eighth inning, you got Gallegos coming in, throwing 117 miles per hour. And then Iglesias will also also, also throw 117 miles per hour for the save. Sully's team? (laughs) You want to read it off, Sully? Uh, Sure. All right. So I catch her. I got Will Smith. For his face, I got Freddie Freeman, AL MVP last year, or NL MVP, Jesus. Um, second base, Ozzy Albies. Third base, Jose Ramirez, who I think should have won AL MVP. Trey Turner at short, absolute beast. He's Mike's guy. Uh, Yelich in left field. I got Cody Bellinger in center field. Mookie Betts in right field. I got that Dodger duo. Uh, Bryce Harper in at Trash! Excuse me. <laughs> That's weird. Anyone hear something? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, my starting pitchers, I got the a- AL Cy Young from last year, Shane Bieber, the NL Cy Young from last year, Trevor Bauer, and then I got Aaron Nola, who's a beast in his own, Devin Williams, a relief pitcher, and my guy Liam Hendricks closing out the game. Big time. And for Pretty my good. team, <clears throat> we got a, a team that can hit. I catch her, Yasmani Grandal, first Hits. base, Matt Olson, second Hits. base. DJ LeMahieu, third base, Hits. Anthony Rendon, shortstop, Hits. $340 million man, Francisco, Frankie Lindor, Hits. left field, Michael Brantley, center Hits. field, literally the goat, Mike Trout, right Definitely field, Hits. Ronald Acuna Jr., and Hits. the utility spot, we got Dom Smith, my guy. Sometimes hits. Hey. <laughs> Starting rotation. Garrett Cole, Lucas Giolito, Clayton Hits. Kershaw, sign me up. Probably, I I think Kershaw probably has, no, no, no. I was going to say more Cy Youngs than anyone else. Um, like my, no, never mind. Relief pitcher, Trevor May, closer, Josh Hader. There it is. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. All let three teams, know, pretty solid. Let us know whose team you like the best. Let us know how excited you are for the baseball season and yeah. Yeah. Any other closing remarks on the draft? I mean, I have a blast. Yeah. So did I let us know. Yeah. Like Austin said, whose team you like best, maybe anybody that we forgot. Uh, you could drop that in a comment or our DMS. Um, maybe you could chirp someone like myself say, Hey, you idiot. I wouldn't have picked so-and-so. I maybe would have picked so-and-so I can handle it. So Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to stop the screen sharing.
And now I'm going to share the You're gonna post- share a different screen. Yes. <clears throat> Once I find it, because it's not up right now. The post right. of the week. We're sticking with the baseball theme here. And Sully has not seen it yet. So here Sully we go. Sully has not the seen it. The grand reveal. <laughs> there it is. I love uh, it. There's no caption to it. No caption. It doesn't need a caption. It doesn't need one, yeah. Because you don't need one. And especially because the account is no context Guy Fieri or at no context Fieri. And I guess it's just like the celebrity softball game. <laughs> just makes, makes remarkable catch. And it's just guy being guy, you know. Also, it's just such a funny um, pose <coughs> picture. He, why is he kneeling on the base? Like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't know I didn't even notice that. <laughs> he's got the backwards oh, hat on, the sunglasses. He's it's a just an absolute uh, insane photograph. Okay. So definitely, if you haven't, if you're not watching and you're only listening, click the link in the description yeah. to see the post of the week check that out uh before you go away, i hope dmx is okay looks like uh hospitalized yeah. because of I an saw overdose that, that out uh that. hashtag the new nissan is probably trash so don't get it because nissan's on my shiitake mushroom list and why in the hell is matt harvey trending he started for the orioles today that's silly yep he that he, he was signed like in the end of March and immediately became their number two starter because the Orioles because are Orioles Garba. I don't know how he did though. Orioles. I saw I saw he had one strike. I always I saw I clicked on the thing and I watched a clip of one strikeout and that's all. I don't I don't did know. He how he today? Did. Yeah, he pulled it up. Today. I'm gonna pull it up right now. All right. I don't think he did that bad. In the meantime, you guys could tell your jokes if you'd like. Sure. Um. The I Orioles was, won. The or, sorry, the Orioles are two and out, ladies. And gentlemen. Yeah, John Means had a sick game last night, uh, but Harvey did not get the win. It was a four-two victory. Let's see. Uh, he went four and two thirds. Let it six hits, two earned runs, one walk, four strikeouts, three eighty-six ERA. Right. So not what you are used to with Matt Harvey from his Mets days. But, but also not, not what you're used to, what you're from used his, to with Matt Harvey with his Mets days. <laughs> or his any other team day where yeah. he yeah. was consistently in the six ERA. Uh, say, yeah, he's hitting six, six is <laughs> awfully generous. Yeah. So here's, uh, here, here's my joke. It's a question. I hope you guys are ready. What do male cattle use to write? Male cattle used to write mm-hmm. a pen. Bull pens. Bull pens. That's so kind of like a baseball joke almost. On oh, it was 100%. No, it was 100 No, I did it on purpose. Oh, sorry. Baseball joke. 100% bull pens. baseball joke. Bull pens. Male cattle is a bull. Pens. I like it. Thank you very much. I love it. So you want to hit us with your joke or do you want to save the best for last? No, I don't I don't have one. I couldn't find mine. Oh, it's all right. Hey. Yeah, it had something to do. It was like a dad joke, but I that's what we love I here. Figure it out. No, it, it find it perfectly. While you're trying to find that, I have a question too. Where do catchers sit for lunch? The backstop, the lunch table the behind behind, behind the plate, the plate. <laughs> uh, uh, come on come on i like it i like it <laughs> it was cute i didn't think it was that funny but i yeah. saw it i was like all right it's good is, yeah it's cute. yeah Sticks when i'm the behind trend. the plate you know i get I, I get oh i'm ready done. to be behind the plate i'm hungry yeah, yeah. I what else is there work done well I think that's all we got. Next week, tune in. We're doing uh, – it, it will be WrestleMania. WrestleMania, we're going to talk about that a little bit in uh, roots of the first episode of the Nisto Bros podcast. Also, stay tuned. Uh, I don't know if we're still doing this. We haven't talked about it. Uh, a live on Thursday, a live Nisto drinks, because that is actually the one-year anniversary of the podcast starting is this Thursday. 
this Thursday. So, so uh, stay we'll tuned. definitely post about that more yeah. if, if we are going to do that. Um, and yeah, so definitely tune in next week. Thank you so much, for, Sully, for joining. I, I mean, yes. the fantasy draft was a blast. Uh, hope yeah, you guys were strapped in for this a little bit longer episode, but we had an absolute blast, as I said. Yeah, no, I loved it. Sure. Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, of course. Thanks for being here, Sully. And if anybody else wants to be like Sully and be on the Nisto Bros podcast, let us know. Yeah, do that, please. Do it. Anything else? I'm good. All I'm right. Good. If you're feeling hungry, you want to be behind the plate. Sorry, if you're a catcher, you want to be behind the plate. Um, and, you're, eats. and you're around center each Long Island, maybe. Uh, download the Cheesley's app and uh-huh. use promo code Misto Bros for $5 off your orders of 25 or more with promo code Misto Bros. Do that. App. Do it. And then you can almost peace, forgot, but then didn't. And then you can peace, love, eat, sip listen and i'll think of a baseball pun probably go ahead hit him with the outro love zip don't be a trash throw and eat and listen listen (laughs) goodbye